At Embrace Orthodontics, we straighten and align teeth, and we do so for children or adults. And we have a variety of options so that they can go through this experience feeling empowered as they go through the whole process. It's a warm, comforting environment that speaks to teenagers and adults, so everyone feels comfortable. There's a cold wind blowing eastward And it's calling me back home Hi everyone and thanks for watching Season 3 of Places and Spaces. We bring you stories from the most talented architects, brokers, contractors and designers from all over Maine. And if you're wondering what it's like to build, remodel or invest in communities across the state, we hope to inspire you. Thank you so much for joining us. Now let's see where today's episode takes us. Both my grandfathers were carpenters. One was a home builder, one was more of a, an artist doing wood reliefs. And as a kid, I'd always enjoyed uh, working around the house and doing odd jobs as well. And I started working very young around town in Portland and really enjoyed construction and design. And it just grew from there. I'm a Mainer, I'm a mom, and I'm co-owner of Mies Relations, a PR firm in Portland. And when I'm not working, you can find me with my bees, my chickens, my dogs, or my son down on Maggie's farm. Hi, I'm Rob Barrett, owner of Barrett Maid. When I'm not working, I love to spend time with my wife and kids on the lake. I'm Britt Vitalius. I grew up in Maine, sailing up and down the coast with my family and hiking and skiing in the mountains. I moved away after college, but came back 15 years ago to raise my family here and just enjoy everything Maine has to offer. My kids are six and seven, boy and girl, and we are constantly getting down and dirty. We are riding hoverboards, we are on bikes, we are playing soccer, we are playing board games, and I'm constantly just giving them snacks and snacks and snacks. I grew up on a little island on the coast of Maine called Eastport. It's a really tight-knit community, a really beautiful little island, and it really taught me the importance of having a really strong, great relationship that I could carry over into my business now. Hi everyone, and welcome to Places and Spaces. Today we are welcoming in spring with a special landscaping episode, but don't worry, if you don't have a yard or a green thumb, local experts are gonna show how to bring nature into small spaces and even indoors. As soon as the dandelions pop up in April, Mainers know it's time to get ready for planting flowers, beautifying the yard, and creating outdoor living spaces. Whether you have a large or cozy yard, a green thumb or not, we have tips and tricks from local experts. Brian from Greenscapes in Maine will show us some of his current hardscaping projects. Cheryl from Terra Flora creates gorgeous vertical gardens that truly bring nature inside. Aaron's yard gets a landscaping consult from Estabrooks, and we will enjoy the view from Verdante's green roof and tour their vending machine style parking garage, which is the only one in Maine. But first, we are here in North Yarmouth at Farm to Table Kids, where Farmer Stuff is going to show us how to get kids into gardening and eating their veggies from a very young age. We are at Farm to Table Kids. It's a nonprofit organic farm in North Yarmouth, Maine. Our goal is to help kids find whatever lights them up in nature. So we do that through organic farming, farm to table cooking, and nature crafting. So many times kids are told to keep away from the garden or not touch things. And kids love playing with food. And so we encourage that here at the farm, more so than maybe a mom does in a kitchen. So they can go out into the fields, they can pick a harvest, and they can bring it up to the greenhouse kitchen, wash it and then make a snack for themselves. One of the things we do at farm camp every week that the kids love is we do a chopped chef challenge and they go out and they pick a harvest but they have to work together as a team to make something really creative and fun with their harvest and that's always a highlight. Everything at Farm to Table Kids is about interactions and how can we get people to interact with nature. So we really want to open our fields to try to do you pick this year and do more on farm events with families. I love growing flowers, it's my heritage. My family grew flowers when I was young and I feel like I'm getting back to my roots and any time I'm inspired, it just makes it better to have kids with me by my side and I'm so thrilled to be able to take those kids who have been farming with us for five years and promote them into this role 
role of junior farmer and show them how to properly harvest, how to put the bouquets together, how to put them out on the farm stand, and how to deliver them to our community. And I've got to say, in the summertime, when we have like 400 dahlias going and 500 snapdragons and 5,000 sunflowers, it's magical. We are finally able to have kids back at the farm and we are gonna give people what they want, which is more play space outside. So people can openly come here and play with it and enjoy Mother Nature. Everything here was built genuinely out of gratitude for my son being well, for being able to have a chance to work my passion. I love that. I love that about this community because when Joey was sick, everybody would always send us letters and messages. No one ever forgot about us. And when we came back here, I was just so ready to say thank you. And I'm so grateful that we live in a place that respects it and honors the contact and the relationship with nature. Okay, now we're gonna get our hands dirty. Um, we are gonna plant some boxes. Now, I know a lot of people don't necessarily have gardens at home, but if everyone has a little box, even a basket, and a sunny window, you can grow something. You're gonna plant a flower box, and I'm gonna plant a kitchen herb and lettuce box. I love having lettuce in these cedar boxes because when I'm making a pizza at home, I grow this box with arugula. Can we plant pizzas? Can we have a pizza garden? We have a pizza, <laughs> we do have a pizza garden! At Farmer Table Kids, we put all of our recipes into a garden. Oh. So when we have um, a pizza party, like I told you we love to cook with kids. Yeah. So we might make pizzas with our uni oven oh. and the kids will go out to the pizza patch and harvest their basil and tomatoes, lunchbox peppers, oregano, whatever they want to put on the pizza. It's all in the pizza garden. I want you to have an adult camp because this just sounds like way too much fun. I know, <laughs> but that's why we started the one day workshop classes is because so many parents would come and say, I want to go to farm camp too. So now we do that. Well, I think these are so beautiful, and I think anyone watching at home, this is something that they can bring into their home, have their kids excited about, and thank you so much for sharing this. And remind people how they can find you online and how they can support you. Thank you so much, Maggie. You can find Farm to Table Kids at farmtotablekids.org. And right now, we are actually doing a fundraiser this spring where we're selling our raised bed boxes, these cedar planter boxes, our seedlings, and also our flower CSA. So all of that's available on our website at farmtotablekids.org. Perfect, this is so great. Next, we are gonna go to Brunswick and visit Terra Flora, where Cheryl is going to show us how she builds vertical gardens inside of people's homes. Vertical gardens and green walls have become popular in commercial spaces as a form of living art. More and more people are now creating living walls in their homes. And Cheryl at Terra Flora is going to show us her creative process. We're in the studio, Terra Flora, in Fort Andros in Brunswick, Maine. I moved here about four years ago from San Francisco. And Living walls or vertical gardens in San Francisco or the West Coast are more prevalent, I think partially because you can have them outside, but they almost make more sense here where we're inside for such a long winter season. It's a beautiful design element. It also, in a small space, it doesn't add clutter. It adds green, it adds warmth to a space, but it doesn't add clutter. But in a large space, it can have a high impact as well because obviously you can have a larger vertical garden and you just have more space to stand back from it and observe. If you've done even just a little bit of research online about plants that you probably have come across the term biophilia. And it goes back to this idea that we have this innate attraction and need for green and for plants. They also um, absorb a lot of the VOCs and the toxins in our environment, so they work for us as well. I am taken by this. Jump right in and tell us what we're looking at, please. This is um, an 80-plant vertical garden with a recirculating self-automated watering system. So these are the reservoir tanks down here. You fill them with water, there's a pump and a hose and it takes it up and across and it waters down and then the pump brings the water back up. So you're not watering 80 individual plants here. So it sounds like you don't need much of a green thumb to have something this beautiful in your home. 
Correct. They are living plants, so you know they're always going to need a little bit of something here and there. But no, they are easy <laughs> care as far as having multiple plants in your house goes. So it seems something like this. You can have a pretty small space, have room for this, and it's going to make the space feel bigger, brighter, yes. more dynamic, your word. Um, so it feels like this is a good fit for pretty much anyone who wants to bring some color and nature into their home. Absolutely. This is 80 plants, but you could have 40, you could have 20, you could have 10. So we decide on the correct system for your space. So for anyone watching who wants to learn more or chat with you, how do they find you? Uh, you can go to my website, terraflorame.com and we'll make an appointment. I love it. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you so much And for from coming. green walls to green roofs, we are now going to head to Verdante, Portland's newest luxury condo building that has green roofs, as well as a really cool vending machine style parking garage that you're definitely going to want to see. What should you do first? Should you try to sell first and then identify your new purchase or should you identify your purchase and then quickly try to sell your home? One option is to negotiate a rent back into your deal. The advantage is that you can already have closed on your existing home and have your funds in place ready to go so that when you identify your new purchase, you can make a really strong offer. Another option is to identify your purchase first and then be prepared to quickly sell your existing home. Now, if you're gonna go that road, you really need to be prepared so that when you identify your new purchase, you have your home ready to list within 24 hours. If you would like to learn about these strategies and others, just reach out to Vitalius Real Estate Group. You can find us at vitalius.com. Welcome back to Places and Spaces. Hi, I'm Britt Vitalius, and we're at the newest luxury condos in Portland at Verdante right around the corner from my office. And it's been really exciting to watch this thing go up over the last year. Now you're gonna go in with Aaron and check out the most amazing car parking situation you've seen. We are in the parking garage at Verdante at Lincoln Park, which is the newest condominium project in Portland from the New High Group. This building has some of what we consider our signature features, tall ceilings, uh, lots of natural light, triple glazed windows, and then behind us here we have a mechanical parking machine. That means we're minimizing the amount of land area that is dedicated to parking. We have been watching this technology, you know, how cars are parked in more dense areas of the country. We did go to a number of places in the country. We went to Boston and out to Portland, Oregon and San Francisco to look at uh, parking and how parking was being treated in those areas where density is really a concern. And uh, this system here is manufactured by German company, War, and is distributed in the US by just one company, Harding Steel, and they represent a number of manufacturers. So having gone out to San Francisco to see this machine in action, we felt like it was the very best quality available and something that we should bring to Maine. So this is the first mechanical parking system in Maine. When you come in in your car, you can either use a fob or you can use an app on your phone and you just call for your platform. And while I'm in the machine and the gate is open, nobody else can call their car. So that's a safety feature. You don't, not at risk of being trapped in the machine. So we got to see the incredible parking garage downstairs. Yes, yes. Talk about some of the other amenities people can find in Vernante. Right, so this is actually the largest unit in the building. Uh, it's a 2,455 square feet. Um, it's quite a special unit, it has three bedrooms and a den, and obviously this large grand room and great kitchen. Uh, it, it can cater to a couple different kind of um, buyers. Uh, the downsizer that really can't downsize, you know, but has a large house maybe in the Portland area that still wants the space. They can have an office in one of the secondary bedrooms if they'd like, or a family having three bedrooms, a couple of small children raising them in an urban setting in Portland. So for people who are watching who want to learn more about Verdante and the New High Group, how do they find you? Yeah, they can find us at newheightgroup.com um, or they can come down here and knock on the door. We're here most days and we'll be happy to sell you all the units you want to buy. So now we are going to head down to Kenny Bunk and talk to Brian from Greenscapes of Maine and he's going to show us some incredible hardscaping work that he's done in his yard and for a local restaurant. 
Shopping at Aristotle means that you are part of a larger community of women. Usually your first visit is never your last, and we have customers from all across the country, and they shop with us because of the service that we provide and the connection that we have formed with them. We have a tremendous amount of customer loyalty, something which I am incredibly grateful for. And we always joke here that we're not only going to remember your name, but we're also going to remember your bra size too. It's time to get moving. Shake it up. This month, upgrade to a new 2021 Honda CRV. New vibe, new attitude. Discover new possibilities with a Honda and upgrade to a new CRV. Stop by your local Honda dealer or visit mainhondadealers.com. Even if the volume is off, we get your message across. Media Northeast is Maine's premier video production company with one goal, growing your company through compelling commercials, engaging social media content, and more. Our creative team works to reflect the hard work and dedication you put into your business. We live in a visual world. Let us help you captivate your audience. At Barrett Made, we do residential construction and commercial construction. Our residential architecture and construction is uh, custom homes. So that means that it's not your cookie cutter house, it's, it's a custom house, so it's designed from start to finish. And we do typically the, all the carpentry work, uh, sometimes the framing, but all the finish work. Now our commercial side, we do everything from small built-ins and some of our uh, past retail clients, our new retail clients, our restaurant clients, downtown Portland, we do a lot of work there to uh, multi-million dollar commercial projects from the ground up. So it's a very wide range of services we provide. I'm Skylar Welch from Main Point Lending. I'm your local mortgage broker located right here in Falmouth, Maine. Interest rates are at a historic low and property values are higher than ever. So what this means is this may be a really great time to refinance your property. Have you been looking to get rid of your PMI or looking to complete a project around your house that you don't have the funds for? Or maybe you're looking to pay off high interest debt or student loan debt. Well, refinancing your property and pulling equity out of that property could be the perfect option for you. I recently refinanced my property and pulled equity out to purchase a four unit investment property. That investment property is now making money for me every single month. Please contact me at Main Point Lending so that I can shop a variety of different lenders to find the very best interest rate for you. The real estate market in Brunswick, Maine, I mean, it has low inventory. In a way, the system has shifted of how we do real estate, but it's kind of fun because we have to be creative. We just can't be stagnant. In the past, you used to get a lot of sales done that maybe were done quickly. I knew a house that was going to be sold. We knew an agent that had buyers. We can get it done very fast and the deal's done. But today, it's not worth it. It's not in the best interest of the seller. What's in the best interest of the seller is to hit the open market. And as much as I wanted, like, you know, get deals done quickly. It's just to everyone's advantage to let it hit the market. Let's bring in all the competition and we go from there. Greenscapes of Maine is a landscaping maintenance company. We also do a lot of excavation and site work as well. We do a lot of commercial installs and we have maintenance crews, we have mulching crews, everything to do with the maintenance. We do the the whole thing from start to finish and then maintain the properties. We specialize in a lot of commercial development projects. So we do a lot of condos, a lot of patios and walkways. And we also do a lot of residential stuff like we're doing here, pools, patios, outdoor, living areas, fire pits. Some other projects that we've done in the area down at the Lost Fire in Cape Porpoise, we did an outdoor grill so that they can cook for a venue for weddings and parties. We've seen a lot of people beautifying their spaces this year and last year due to COVID. A lot of outdoor use going on, so we're getting a lot of phone calls and interest in fire pits and patios. Today we are at my house. We're in the middle of a project we've been working on. We had recently bought this house last year 
and it was just so hot back here. One day I just said to my wife, I said, well, get in the car, we're gonna go get a pool. So here we are, you know, six months later into the process. We're looking forward to this summer. And there'll be all sorts of trees and plantings in there and it'll all be lit up and should look nice when it's done. The excavator behind us, we use that for mostly the site work digging foundations. It's easier for that machine just to grab the stone and just reach over and spread it than it is tracking a smaller machine back and forth. I love the Kennebunk community. I love that it's a small town. I've seen them do a lot of changes over the years since I've been here. I think we get a lot of traffic from other states that help the economy here and help people like myself with landscape companies or carpentry companies. So I think it's good. Anywhere by the seacoast is great because it brings tourism and, and they spend money. You can contact us through our website at www.greenscapesofmaine.com. Enjoy the summer, and we look forward to hearing from you. Mainstream Real Estate Company is a full-service real estate company offering services throughout the state of Maine. Whether you're looking to sell your home, buy a primary residence, or an income property, we have talented agents there to help you. Being a part of Mainstream Real Estate Company will set you apart from the rest. We've created a tight-knit, supportive atmosphere, and by being around other like-minded professionals, your business will excel. Welcome back to Places and Spaces. Now we're going to check in with our very own Erin and see what Esther Brooks has in store for her landscaping goals. Hey everybody and welcome to my yard. My husband and I bought a fixer upper a few years ago and it is finally time to deal with all of this deferred maintenance here in our gardens. I do not have a green thumb and I have no idea where to begin, nor do I really have a lot of time. So I have phoned a friend, Tom Estabrook, one of the owners at Estabrooks in Yarmouth, to help us figure out what to do. If you are somebody though who does like to garden, he also has the latest trends and tips for you. Let's go say hi. Hi Aaron, welcome to Estabrooks. We're here in Yarmouth, Maine, and uh, this is our family garden center that we've owned for over 50 years. We do everything from mulches and soils all the way to pottery, uh, home decor, uh, house plants are a big one right now, the big trend. Um, you know, so indoor living. Uh, we also have a full service florist. Uh, so a lot of attributes for around the home, pretty much anything to do with outside and inside the home, we, we have a piece of. I tell people when you come to the garden center, it's like a candy store. And you come in and there's a million flavors and you don't know what to choose. So we're here to help with that. We will ask a lot of questions. You know, what's your priorities? Um, how might you want to stage the project? Do we need to do hardscape first, then plants later? Some of that can be coordinated with a consult that we come to your, your home and actually do. And that will give you a, a, a better picture of how to approach it. It's important to have a plan when you come to purchase your plants because they're a long-term goal, especially when it comes to trees and shrubs. So here we're walking out into the nursery and perennial yard. And this time of year, there's a, the conifers are, are something we really specialize in. So in Maine, right. let's face it, half, yeah. our, half our season, right. we don't have leaves. But they're pretty, but they're <laughs> so, pretty. So, you know, when we kind of come up here, we have a little bit more of a mixed look, you mm -hmm. know, in the display in this area. Okay. And it's really to kind of give people an idea of what you can do with all these dwarf conifers that give you accent and texture in the off season. Mm -hmm. And then we influx the hydrangeas and the color and the forsythia and all those things to kind of make our season kind of mold together. But some of these are the backbone of your landscape. And so you can help with all the plan. So you can We're come here over to help. And, okay, yes. <laughs> thank <Yes>. you. <laughs> so here's the start of our perennial yard. This will be filled with probably 50,000 perennials. So, you know, many different choices. This yard will be completely filled with plants here in the next few weeks. Wow, you've got your work cut out for you over here. <laughs> it's Whoa, a lot geez. of work. I can but barely keep it one plant alive. We wouldn't do it without a great staff. They, yeah. they really support us very well. They're so happy and they nice. Are. We love it here. Well, we sell happiness, which is yeah, nice. It is, you do, you literally <laughs> Absolutely. do. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Tom.
Thank you so much for tuning in to this special landscaping episode of Places and Spaces. We hope you're now inspired to go play in the dirt on your own or call one of our experts. If you have an outdoor place or space you'd like to share, send an email to info at mainlifemedia.com and please follow us on Instagram at Places and Spaces Maine. To all of you that call Maine home for a weekend or forever, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Listen to the water as it makes its way between those